Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can add easily a calendar as tab in your team channel. Microsoft has published in these days a new app in the Teams store called Channel Calendar. This app allows you to have a shared calendar with your teammates. You can create in fact a virtual coffee or a weekly stand-up meeting with your teammates easily. Ok, let's go forward and I show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. I have this team called IT and I just created a new channel called Meetings because the idea is to arrange all team meetings in this channel. Then let's click on this channel and let's click on the plus button here in order to create a new tab. I will add now this new app called Channel Calendar. It's here already available because previously I already used this app. But you can just type in the search box channel and this app will show up. Let's click now on this app in order to add this new tab. Then you have to define the tab name and let's type in Team Calendar. All good. Let's click on the button Add and now we have this new tab added with the calendar. This is a shared calendar. Every member of this team can see this calendar. So let me click now on the three dots because I want to check who is member of this team. I am owner. And then I have Ligu as member and Patti Fernandez. Now let's change the perspective because I'll show you that the calendar is visible for Ligu as well, for example. And here I am connected as Ligu. Clicking now on the IT team and the, in the channel meetings, I can see as Ligu this new tab added, team calendar. And I have the same view that I have as Giuliano. Now as Ligu, I will create a new meeting. Clicking on the right time slot, I will add this new meeting, virtual coffee. Then I will add participants to this meeting and I will add, of course, my teammates. And I will add also another colleague which is not part of our team, IT. And this other colleague is Joanna Lawrence. Finally, I will add now a guest to this meeting because this guest collaborates a lot with us. And all goods, as you can see here, we have this setup, this field which is read-only, of course, because you can create only channel meeting. Okay, all good. I want to just set that this will be weekly as recurrency and then send the meeting. So now this meeting is created in this calendar and every member of the team can check this, this calendar, as I said. Additionally, what I can do is open Outlook and I can check the Outlook calendar. I will see that now this meeting is booked in my Outlook calendar as well. I am now in Outlook as Ligu and I'll show you that if I click on the calendar, I will see this new meeting created previously, virtual coffee. It is weekly, as you can see. Going back on, on Teams now, what I will do is create another meeting Clicking on another time slot. I added my teammates. I can send this meeting and another meeting has been created. Let's start this meeting just created with Ligu. Clicking on join, I am now in the meeting as Ligu. I will join this meeting with all other participants. I have now the perspective of Joanna Lawrence, the colleague invited, which is not member of the team. Clicking on the calendar, I can see that there is this meeting created by Ligu and I am invited. So as you can see here, I have this message unable to get channel details right now. This of course because Joanna Lawrence is not member of this team. But I can join now this meeting and I can take my coffee with my colleagues. Here I am as guest. I got the email and I can click on yes. I can even join, of course, the meeting. I will join the meeting by using the browser. Now the guest is joining this meeting. He is in the lobby. I will admit this guest and we can start now this 
virtual coffee break all together we can discuss around everything and then i can even start to record this meeting i can share file start to conversate with my teammates hello so now what i will do is stop the recording and i will stop now this this meeting i will end this meeting now i left the meeting as ligu and ligu of course has access to the content of this meeting she can check the the meeting recording and uh, she can see the the chat conversation history but the other people cannot cannot get access to the content of the meeting so here i am as joanna lawrence the colleague of ligu and giuliano de luca and she has no access to the content of the meeting the same thing of course as a guest so if i hang up as you can see i have this normal screen i can just dismiss this panel last thing that i want to call out here is that this app is not available in the private channel if i try to add a new app as a tab here and if i search for channel calendar as you can see this app is not available all right that was a quick tutorial how you can create a shared calendar as tab in your team channel if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future put a comment down below i read them all and this is also how i build my to-do list for my next videos I hope to see you next time, bye!